So hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about wit.ai which is an NLP platform by Meta. It's completely free and open source so you can check it out. Uh, it's very interesting. So I'll suggest you go to wit.ai and then follow the process along with me so that you get a grasp of how the thing works and you can have your own chatbot by the end of this video. So I have created this obsidian uh, markup file. Uh, which contains the guide to create a chatbot. I'll link that down in the description box below. I also have this article written about wit.ai, uh, which I wrote on dev.2. I'll link that down below. So I'll suggest you check those two out before you come to watch this video. And even if you don't, I'll just cover all of these topics in this video itself. Uh, so we'll be talking about how wit.ai works. So this chatbot of wit.ai works with intents and entities. So intents and entities are like the message the user says. For example, the user says that could you book a restaurant in Manhattan? So the intent will be the main message or the uh, motive of the user's input. So here in this case, it's restaurant booking. The entities are the additional information that is provided with the user's input. For example, in this case, it's location Manhattan. So it's the additional information here. So the AI will extract these intents and entities from the user's message. So for that, we have to train the AI with uh, example prompts. And then once we have trained with multiple prompts, the AI will become more and more perfect and it'll start to identify the user's messages. So let's create a new app in Wid.ai. I'll just name it my chat bot. Yeah, so now I'm going to keep it open, click on create. So once it's created, I can type in the example utterances here. For example, I'll type my favorite subjects are physics and chemistry. Or let's keep one subject. My favorite subject is physics okay so this is the user's message or the utterance and then i'll double click on the word which i want to keep as the entity so the entity is the additional information as i already said so i'll be selecting physics as the additional information that is the favorite subject so we have got a few uh, default entities here such as the age of a person amount of money contact etc etc but the one we require here is not there by default. So we're going to be naming this entity as favorite subject. And we're going to be creating a custom entity here. Select that and favorite subject. Yeah. So as you can see, the resolve value is physics. The favorite subject value is physics. So it's completely okay. And then we can go ahead and first of all, we have to select an intent which is the main motive or the message of this utterance. So here in this case, it's input favorite subject. So, so I'll just name that intent and train and validate. So the message has went to the training queue. Till then, let me just type a few more messages. So there we go, we have trained the AI with a few example prompts. So I'll be going to this obsidian markup I created for this video. And then, so here are all the steps to create the Node.js bot is written. So first of all, we have to create a wit.ai app, which we have done. And then we have to train the app, then we have to get the wit.ai access token. So we have to go to the app settings on the wit.ai dashboard. So it's like in the management here. And then you go to settings. And then here you get the server access token. You need to copy that. As you can see, it tells us to copy the server access token. So now we have to set up the Node.js project. So let's go to VS Code. I'm going to be opening the terminal. And then I'm going to do npm init minus y to initialize the npm. And then we're going to be installing the dependencies, which are node fetch and reline sync. So we're going to go ahead to VS code and then npm i node fetch 
let it install and the second one is read line dash sync and then we're gonna do npm i read line dash sync press the enter key and then it'll download now i'm going to create a javascript file named bot.js and then i have some sample code written here in the obsidian markup as you can see so what i'll just do is that i'll just copy all this sample code and then paste it in vs code there we go and then i have to enter the wit.ai server token here and then paste it there there we go so i had some bugs with the program that is in my package.json i had not entered type module but this package here is a module type package so we had to import it with the import syntax instead of the require syntax so after that it's working fine so let's run this code now so as you can see it tells welcome to the wit.ai chatbot as we have written here and then it takes our input let's type my favorite subject is chemistry so here as you can see this is text and this is the confidence percent and this is the name of the intent so this is input favorite subject and then we have the type value and value is chemistry so as you can see it identified the uh, entity from the user's message let's type something else like my favorite subject is history so let's check if it identifies yes it has identified history here so like this you can create a chatbot you can take the data from the user's input and then you can process the data to get multiple outputs this ai cannot uh, help you generate uh, any cool message from the ai but it can only identify the user's input and then and help you get the data for the processing stage and the output so that's it for this video hope you find it helpful uh wit.ai is really something cool and you should check it out thank you for watching this video make sure to drop a like don't forget to subscribe and maybe share the video to more tech geeks i'm gonna meet you again in the next video until then goodbye